If you're planning to build a career as a DevOps engineer, then I have come across a very good platform that allows you to build the skills in DevOps engineering using a very practical hands-on approach. So when you go to this platform, you become part of this virtual organization where you are given this task and then you finish this task and learn these DevOps skills using a very, very hands-on a practical way and the most important thing is this platform is totally free it is called code cloud engineer anyone can register there are so many people who have registered so far and benefiting and in today's era if you look at any IT organization DevOps engineer has become a very very crucial part of any organization and these are the people who maintained the cloud infrastructure, who are responsible for CI CD integration, maintaining version control, uh, they know Docker, Kubernetes, and so on. So le let me go over this platform real quick. So when you log into codecloudengineer.com, you become part of a fictitious company called this, okay? And this is very hands-on learning platform where you are given a role of system administrator and and let me show you the leaderboard so what happens is you are given tasks initially as a system administrator role so just assume you got a job in this fictitious company as a system administrator you complete some task and then you get upgraded as devops engineer so literally like you're working for some virtual company and you're kind of getting promoted as a DevOps engineer. Then once you finish all the DevOps engineer tasks, you get promoted as senior DevOps engineer, DevOps ar ar architect and so on. You can see there are so many people participating right now. So all these guys are uh, system administrator, then there are DevOps engineer and so on. Now to create an account, you can go to codecloudengineer.com. So let's say I'm here okay on this website and you can create an account using github or your email and all those credentials and during the account signing up process it will ask you for information like your job title your current company your interest actually so as a devops engineer like let's say you are interested in linux docker ansible kubernetes you mention all your interests, everything. And then when you say submit, your account will be created and you will see a dashboard that looks something like this. So you will be given some initial task as a system administrator. So I have two tasks here, you know, these are the two tasks. And these tasks are very simple. You have to just watch some videos. So I already watched this first video. Let me show you the second video. So you click on this, you watch the video. Okay, so I'm just going to play this real quick. So here, uh, it explains everything using nice visuals. So it's very easy to understand. Uh, these are like some basics of DevOps. And once you're done with this task, you can click on done. And it will, you will just earn some points and it will record that you have finished this task. And then you get this new task, like create a Linux user, let's say, with non-interactive cells. So if you click on that. So here you're getting a real like Linux cell where you can, where you can practice different things. So it will take some time and then you will get this uh, shell where you can run your commands. Now, the task that you are given as a system admin is, see this. So you need to create a username, Rose, with a non-interactive shell in app one server, okay? So this is, just um, assume, this is very hands-on tool where you are being hired in this virtual company called this and your supervisor has given you this first task. You have to create this user in app one server. Now, what is app one server? Well, if you click on wiki, so if you click on this wiki, you will get this page, you scroll down, and here 
in app1 server here this is the app1 server okay so i will log in first as this user so i will say ssh ssh uh, steve actually the username let's see what the user okay it is tony so ssh tony at this this is the server name okay so i'm just copy pasting and you need to type in a password so password is given here look at this guy he's an iron man wow iron man so iron man is logging so now you're logged in so now that i am logged in to add a user i will run this command called sudo user add name of the user that you want to add is rose uh minus s has been no login so now you need to give up my iron man password yes so my iron man password goes here and see now user is added now you need to click on this finish button and upon finishing it will show you task success message now if you go to your leaderboard see now you are earning those experience points so you get 100 points for finishing that task of adding rose as a user and you can see those points here as well see you got 100 points and this task is a success so now this way you're given task and once you finish the task you are earning the points and as you keep on finishing more and more tasks you can be upgraded to further levels like which are shown here in the tabs above now if you don't know uh, how to finish certain task or you have difficulty you can go to review so in the review you can ask your fellow engineers to review your task for example these are all the tasks we have right so if you go to uh, review let's say this particular task is for git merge branches you know and when you go to review it will show a little video of what was done uh, in this particular task you know and when you ask your fellow engineers for the review they will provide their comments you know so there is a comment box here so if you are asking for help to someone else uh, people will help you they, they are like you are in a, this virtual company where there are other engineers and those engineers will help you via posting these comments so here they post the comments and that way you get a help from other people to finish your task there is also architecture diagram so if you click on it it will give you the architecture diagram of the whole system that you're using so if you review it it's gonna certainly help you because it will provide you a bigger picture of your overall system i personally like this learning platform because this is not like reading tutorials but this is like real hands-on experience so definitely you guys should go try it out it is totally free so that was a quick demo of the platform there are many more features which you can find out if you register on this platform again it is totally free so please register today start exploring various features and start learning these skills and uh, i have provided all the important links in the video description below also if you have any question please ask in the video comment below thank you